Two prominent solos were mentioned briefly by Jackie Wells while conversing with V in the Afterlife nightclub. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand, all sat on those stools, fell asleep on that same bar. Boa Boa and Susan Forrest, both were considered alongside Morgan Blackhand as being legends in the solo business. Captain Andrew Boa Boa Wayland was a corporate solo who earned his status for his work for Petrochem alongside his mercenary group, the Water Leopards. Boa Boa specialized in assassination and extraction jobs. He has previously gone one on one with Morgan Blackhand and held his own, but given Morgan's exploits in Night City and the Fourth Corporate War, Boa Boa perhaps is not as well known although Jackie's comments suggest otherwise. Andrew received the nickname Boa Boa due to his snake tattoos and eye modifications, the snake in question being a boa constrictor. The only available image of Boa Boa is somewhat reminiscent of an exotic. Petrochem is a mega corporation who produces 60% of the world's supply of Chew 2. By agreement with Biotechnica, it is the sole licensee in North America permitted to commercially grow Tritacum vulgaris mega suavis and produce Chew 2. This gives Petrochem a monopoly on the United States market. It was rumored that due to poor intel, the water leopards suffered significant losses, meaning that Boa Boa might have went freelance again prior to 2077. In contrast, Susan Forrest was the executioner for the free state of Northern California and Night City. For want of a better description, imagine a female version of Judge Dredd. The duties of the Office of State Executioner was the performance of legal executions, pursuit of fugitives under sentence of death, and supervision of the security of death row prisoners. Being state executioner is one of the toughest vocations one can have in Night City. The financial compensation is fantastic, but the chances of getting iced by some crazy punk while you're hunting them are significant. So, you've got to be good, if not one of the best, and prepared to deal with every eventuality. Susan was one of the most highly trained individuals within the structure of the Night City Police Department, ex Max Tac, with significant experience taking down cyber psychos. She requested a transfer to her current position. Position. Susan wore Gibson battle gear, along with a salamander fireproof jacket. Perhaps the most notable info one can glean from her profile is that as well as being a Sander Vistan user, her weapon of choice is the Melorian Arms 3516 handgun. But because she does not have a cyber arm, she needs to use a battle glove to fire it. The Melorian Arms 3516 was the most powerful personal handgun on the market. Eran Malor developed it to be personal specifications of Samurai, Johnny Silverhand, who wanted something that could drop a cyber psycho fan at 100 paces, no matter how much cyberware they had, price was no object. It has a rare, solid orbital titanium frame, custom Dyna porting, and a direct cyber interlink that locks the user's cyber arm in place as the weapon fires. Susan is described as a level-headed and rational woman. But getting on her bad side will be the last mistake many a punk will make. After all, you don't become the state executioner by being a nice person. Both Susan and Boa Boa were described as American angels. This is a European phrase, as the best solos from Europe are said to have formed a secret fraternity known as the Angels. Thank you for chipping in.